Hey guys, so I'm here to show you how easy it is to customize your portfolio list with JupyterX. So these pages are final page. So as you see, six single portfolio, three column, and a feature image, title section, meta section, exception, and the CTA button, and also the container itself with some hover effect on it. So as you see some uh, border and shadow effect. Also a uh, sortable section and pagination uh, sections are added to our final design. So this is our initial page as you see so simple without any special styling. So let's quickly move to elementor section. I prefer to delete this first then try to add it from scratch. So you must search for hosts in Elementor search section, then drag and drop it here. This is from our own Raven element. As you see, it automatically sets source to block. So uh, you must quickly change it to portfolio. And since I already create my single portfolios, it automatically shows those uh, few single portfolios. So let's uh, move on. Before going to style section for styling every part of our product uh, portfolio list, sorry, we need to go and check for setting section. So as you see, the layout is great. Columns, three columns. You can set it from here to different columns and post per page. So here we just need six and let's move on in feature image section we need it we need post title uh, we need date we don't need author actually we don't need category and uh, we don't need tags so let's move on we need also cda bottom excerpt comments and sortable also and pagination so as you see when we activate these two features paginations and sortable they appear here and um, in top and bottom of post element so now we are good to move to style section the first tab is container this part is called container so quickly let's take a look at our own design we have everything in center with background color and some over effect also we have some paddings around it so let's see what we have here so for padding we can start with adding 20 pixel padding it affects in every direction for alignment we need to set it to center for background if you remember we had a background so let's set it to ea 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 for example and if you like to have a hover effect so you need also to come to hover tab section and from there you you must choose your background so here in this case let's set it to white so as you see it changed colors. Let's move to normal section. And from there, let's add 10, let's say 10 border radius and some color to the container the width of it one pixel is enough and for hover section if you remember when we hover on it the color change and also borders and some shadow is added so here again we can do do that on hover we can set border type to solid and then add a darker color also the width of that border color and also radius let's say same as the normal state let's make it 10 and here as you see everything works perfectly so 
here also on hover we need to have box shadow so quickly you can click on box shadow section i prefer to have nine pixel horizontally 10 uh, same nine pixel let's say vertically uh, shadow and let's make it a little bit lighter and also make it a little bit more blurred and spread how far you want your shadow spread actually so i think we are good here let's save this and let's move on to the features image section as you see the image here the height is more but in our initial page the height is short so let's just change the image ratio to one image width 100 percent is fine it means that no matter how uh, no matter what is the width of the container from right to left just stretch that image for us so if you see when i reduce it it change but let's leave it like 100 pixel we have it in center if you need opacity for your image you can just add it also here but since in our design we don't have anything like that so let's just move it in one pixel so let's move on to third uh, tab which we have which is post title so from typography you can just set your let's say title uh, font size you can make it 80 or let's make it 24 for now transform we can make it uppercase or whatever you like but since in our design we have it as capital let's just go with capital and uh, it's in center and the color the color you can change it from here and if you need the color automatically is the color which we actually have the blue color but let's for hover change the color to black so as you see when you hover it the color of post title change next is meta section you can set your the shape of your divider from here we can change it to straight line and divider spacing how far you want these uh, metals to be separated from each other as you see five is good for us spacing you may just go with some padding below title so you, you must add some padding to the top and alignment is centered we can set it to right and left let's keep it same as default here and the color as i said so the color of this metas is set, you must set them actually from here but for hover also you can set them from here too so let's move on to excerpt section again in excerpt section we have excerpt length so how far your excerpt uh, text you want to be shown so here is 30 let's make it for example 15 and uh, that's it so the text i think is good you can set it from typography size section and maybe we make it 16 and also the color we can set it from here so easily let's move on to cta section cta bottom so here as you see our bottoms are beautifully styled they are large and there are some horror effects on them so let's go with 130 pixel width and height 40 pixel but before that let's change their background color to something that we can see yes blue color and the text let's make it white let's get back to here so width is fine height is this much 
we can also add some spacing let's say 10 pixel to top of button and 20 pixel to bottom of button to make it similar like this and also we have some radius here let's go with four or five maybe radius here and if you like to have some hover effect then you can click on hover section and change color i think white is good for background you may go again with same blue but you can make it a little bit lighter so as you see yeah i think this is good we are almost done here so let's move on to pagination section this is our pagination section so for next and previous buttons as you see here we can use this icon and also we have blue color as active and some blue color as hover and border so here let's change this previous label to this icon and this next label like this for padding we may go with something like this so let me first change i mean add border here so you can see it perfectly let's make make it solid and also blue yes so here in padding we say that um, 15 pixel is good for us for right section let's go with 22 for button let's go with 15 and for left let's go with 22 again so border as you see the width is a little bit more so let's make it one pixel for active color as i said you you must click on active for for color section let's make it white but for background let's go with this beautiful blue color and we need some hover effects here again you must move to hover section and for color you can set it to white again and for background color as we discuss this beautiful blue color so this is the result and it works perfectly i think it's enough so you can also add some border colors and border radius if you need so for example we may go with five let's say first you must set it to solid then you must set it to whatever you like so for example as you see here border radius actually on hover it we are working you can switch to normal and then from there you can set it to 10 and this is this can be the result so i think for now four is good and also on hover four is enough for us so this is the result and finally let's move to sortable section as you see here we have few options for container spacing and spacing around uh, menu items so here let's quickly just go with 20 pixel it uh, applies 20 pixel to every corner of these items so that is fine for us and for alignment we have few options so in our design as you see it's in center so let's keep it simple and have it in center and for active and also hover hover color actually you can set them from here and that's it so in 10 minutes actually you are able to edit your portfolio list to something like this something very perfect see also uh, you can eliminate this hover color on container section if you like and make it completely same as what we have here so we have some 
over effects here on image and some pagination. Same here in our created page, we have paginations. They work smoothly and also we have some categories which you can click on them and see how our sortable feature is working. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you on other videos. Bye for now.